God bless, God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God bless. All right. So I am outside. Um, excuse if you hear the birds chirping, which is beautiful. Um, the planes, the cars, you know, life. <laughs> and um, I want to get this word out of the way so that I can go do what I need to do. All right. And I'm going to start by saying this, that being psychic is, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's energetically drawing. Um, it's a it's a realm that it's a gift. It's a gift, but it's it has its ups and its downs, right? I'm gonna wait for that that plane to, to pass. All right. So basically. Um, being psychic has its ups and its downs, and that's obviously how I talk to God. Tell like it's a, it's a telepathic gift. And yesterday, oh my goodness, I just kept getting like these terrible messages. And it's, I mean, it's a good thing too, right? It's a it's a warning. Getting your messages from your angels, it's it's a warning, right? Um, especially when it when it's through the gospel, especially when you know like the Lord's trying to tell me something, the Lord's trying to save me from Satan, the Lord is trying to save like save me from from the schemes and the plots of the devil, amen. And it was just it was actually so bad. Like we're talking about messages that these are these are real messages. These are these are very very real messages. Hey, be careful! There's someone who's lusting over you and. Even though you have no interest in them, you know, they would, they, don't put it past this person to slip something in your drink so that they can have their way, you know, and potentially rape you. Like, these, these are very, very real things that happen. These are very, very terrible and demonic things, you know, or, hey, this person, you might be cool with them, but they have people who aren't cool with them. And, like, it's, it would be you, Juani. You would be the 1% who's going to show up and then pop pop right like it's gonna pop off and like you know <laughs> i really do mind my own business sometimes i'm like god why right like why why does it have like why does everything have to escalate right to such a to such an extent and i i really had to seek father god i really had to seek lord jesus and um because I wanted to escape those messages, right? Like, if you if you feel that it's it's too dark, right? And that's the thing, right? When you're the chosen one, you have a light within you, and you can tell this is good, this is evil, and you you start away from it, you push it away. But you still need to come to the light, right? You still need to feel cleansed. You still need to feel like you need to feel safe. Amen. So seeking Lord Jesus. Of seeking the Father, trying to get away from the warnings, just just for a little bit, you know. I wanted something. I want to hear some good news, right? I want to hear. <laughs> I want to hear about about the money bag. I want to hear about love. I want to hear about the good promises in Christ. Amen, right? Like my my kingdom spouse. I want to hear about about the thriving of my business, right? I want to hear about about trade trade secrets and, and all that stuff. So, in my obedience to God, which was preaching the word, okay, so every Sunday from now on, I will be preaching the word, I believe at 11 a.m. And seeking the Lord, I got a gift. I got a gift. How did I, how did I come to this word? So we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 12, the diversities of gifts, right? These, these are my, my spiritual powers, my gifts. And um, Angel kept saying, you know what to do. You know what to do. You already know what to do. You're like, you, don't, you don't have to take the class again. You don't, but that's, that's me being a perfectionist. And they say that women, they say that women are perfectionists. And men are, I, I, I want to say the word hopeful, but there's a term for it. They're not, they're not perfectionists. They really just submit it, and then when they get their kickback, um, you're right, they just submit it again, submit it again. And this is actually why sometimes men get higher paying jobs. 
it's not so much that they're qualified or that they believe that they're prestigious in a way they just they just shoot for it you know I guess that is a manly thing like if you think about a guy hitting on a girl like you're just, you're just gonna try right like I'm just gonna shoot my shot but it works the same way I guess when I was looking at um, some HR stuff and I wanted to know I, I wanted to know about about my gift God, what are you trying to tell me? I already know what to do. I already know what to do, which is true. I get bored really easily because I know a lot of stuff. And then it occurred to me. It occurred to me, it occurred to me. I've been through so much abuse and trauma. You might be so smart and you might be able to, it, being smart, I'm, I'm gonna say this, being smart has nothing to do with a degree sometimes. Being smart has nothing to do with a degree sometimes. But in my case, yes. But sometimes, right, when you can discern between good and evil, people try to gaslight you so that you don't know what you're talking about, right? People try to manipulate the truth so that you can't walk in confidence, right? So that you can second guess yourself. And this is exactly, this is exactly why there's a lot of atheists out there who are very firm in science because the word of God has been so manipulated by Satan. So I, I, can, I can understand. But having the Holy Spirit, having Father God, being telepathic, having spiritual gifts, I know what I'm doing. And then it got, like my confidence just completely came back because now I know how I'm working. And like the Lord just revealed it to me. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So here it is. The diversities of gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say Jesus is, is the Lord by, but by the way of the Holy Spirit. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, right? And that's the Holy Spirit, amen. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord, amen. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God, which worketh all in all, amen. But the manifestations of the Spirit, wow, Lord, <laughs> he's shining his light on me, amen. <laughs> but the manifestations of the Spirit, is given to every man to profit withal. For to, for, to, for to one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. Look at that. For to one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, the, gift, the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work it, that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severably, severally as he will. Wow. We're just gonna continue to the bottom of the page. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit, by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, or have been made, or have been all made to drink one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. And then it, it continues on, it continues on about the body, right? About hand and foot, like what belongs, what doesn't. But specifically, I'm focusing on my gift, my gift, my gift, my gift. And basically in my notes, word of, word of wisdom and knowledge. So, but given by the way, by the Spirit, the word of wisdom, to another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. That's my gift. And I'll, I'm going to go into a different 
We have, I have so many texts. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Uh, faith and healing. Uh, and it makes sense now why, why me being a doctor was just so natural. Because I was working with the Holy Spirit. Amen. But to another, the working of miracles, right? To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits, right? Being able to, to cast out Satan and, and know how he moves. Uh, to another, diverse kinds of tongues. I'm outside. No! Okay, I can't tell if that was a bee or what. But wow, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, right? So you either you either can speak multiple languages, or you can understand languages that you've never you've never spoken or heard. And it's so insane because I have this I have this Irish accent. It is disgusting. Not not that I have like any offense towards like the Irish community. Not like I love y'all, but like it is not cute. It is not cute. And when it comes out, I sound like Conor McGregor. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's just, and it's crazy because my genetics say I'm like, I'm only 0.03% Irish, but it's, I don't, when it comes out, it comes out. But that's my gift. And then if we go to another text, like right behind it, it says, and this is 1 Corinthians uh that last what we read the diversities of gifts is 1 Corinthians 12 and we're going to jump into one verse in 1 Corinthians 13 and it says and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries all knowledge and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity I am nothing right like God bless you with those gifts for a reason Wow, I knew it. All right, that was a huge B. <gasps> what are the chances? What are the chances? Okay. I'm literally just reading the Bible. I'm not doing anything wrong. And that thing just attacked me. Okay, all right, let me, let me gather myself. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry if that scream was loud. Oh, we're gonna leave this open. All right. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity, I am nothing. Isn't that amazing? The gift of prophecy, right? The gift to see the future. The gift to, mm -hmm. to, to see certain things about you. If I really want to tell you or if God reveals it. I mean, I can ask. Sometimes I don't want to know. I see enough. I don't want to know. And understand all mysteries. There is nothing in this Bible. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That I, I wouldn't be able to understand or know, right? And it's all and all knowledge. And that this is exactly why a passion, a passion is important. A passion is important. Um, it's like, uh, how do I say this? Just because you know how to do something doesn't mean you like to do it, right? And the example I got was like, just because you know how to be a mechanic or no, like, let's say change a tire. Let's, let's go that simple. Just because you know how to do that doesn't mean you like doing it, right? So it's important to have a passion. Um, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, amen, I have no charity. I am nothing. Look at that. And this is exactly why God needs you out there working your gift. God needs you out there working your gift. Now I understand. Now I understand. Now I understand. All right. So those are, that's what the Lord gave me. And I was like, oh, so I do know all things. I do know all things. Wow. And I already read this, 
the Lord said, I'm watching you, I'm watching you, and then the number was 3-2, and it says Proverbs 3-2, the blessing of wisdom. Um, initially, 3-2 just says, for the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee the wisdom, right? If you know, you'll have peace of mind, right? Knowing, searching, understanding, you get peace of mind. But to be in a state of confusion and not knowing, that's, that's going to put you in turmoil. You're not going to have peace. It's going to shorten your days. But I needed to read the whole thing. If wisdom is my gift and knowledge, basically, those are like my, my number, like my two. And it says the blessing of wisdom. That's my gift. So I wanted to read it all. And we're going to go into it. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy... Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Wow. Ah. Oh, 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 not again. Oh, you might just have to leave this indoors. Oh, it's so nice out. Yeah, this is a big, oh yeah, this is like Jurassic Park out here. Okay, we're not doing this. Hold on. You guys, we are, we are going inside because I keep getting attacked. Sorry, guys, bear with me. blessing of wisdom let's go from the top i'm so sorry because apparently satan doesn't want me to get this message out <sighs> my son forget not my my law but let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee let not mercy and truth forsake thee blind them about thy necks write them upon the table of thine heart so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of god and man all right Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and mar marrow to thy bones. Marrow, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of of all thine increase so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine my son despise not chastising of the lord neither be weary of his correction for whom the lord loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the grain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her, right, in, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. 
Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Ye, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. Envy, now, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, for the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the portion of the promotion of fools Woo. wow and that is the blessing of wisdom and I read it the other day length of days and long life for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee my gift is wisdom fear of the Lord brings health to the body and prolongeth days peace or prosperity when Solomon prayed for wisdom God promised him riches as well as long life if he obeyed God's commands. Normally, the righteous are prosperous and happy, but sometimes it is the wicked who are strong and prosperous. Temporary, though, that may be. Job 1-2 also shows how disaster and death can strike a godly person. And to, to read this and to know that my gift is is wisdom so I know I was like wow I got so I know I have the Holy Spirit I know I know I got David's anointing I know I got and now I have the wisdom of Solomon that's dope <laughs> and um, it makes sense it when I read this it made sense it made sense it made sense um, specifically the reason why the reason why everyone wanted to keep me in confusion the reason the devil worked so hard to keep me in a state of i want to say like insecurity and now i'm like no now i know who i work with now i know what i know amen um oh uh, is this one it where it says men men will come on to you for for the word for the wisdom Is that the next one? Oh, it's the next one. Unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is the son of my voice is to the son of man. But I'll I'll read that after. But reading this, I was I was I was ecstatic, and the Lord to say that she is more precious than rubies. Hey, Joanna, you can't be bought. Johnny, yes, they might, they might have gold. Happy is a man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding, right? There's nothing worse, there's nothing worse than someone who keeps you in confusion. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold, right? There's, some, there's certain things that money can't buy. Joanne, money, money cannot buy you. Joanne, money cannot buy the wisdom that you hold. Money cannot buy the blessing, the blessing of the wisdom that you that you have. And this is this is exactly why you have you have peace beyond all understanding because it comes from wisdom. But to hear the Lord say she is more precious than rubies even though he's talking about wisdom, but he wouldn't give me the wisdom of Solomon. And then give me all these other scriptures. So yes, I am more precious than rubies. Thank you, Lord. Like that's how that's how precious I am to God. Like that's how much He loves me. 
right? In the, and I'm going to find favor in the sight of God and man. That's how precious I am to God. That's how precious I am. That if anyone, if anyone spites me, if anyone does something wrong to me, I've seen it backfire. I've seen it backfire. And sometimes I'm not a spiteful person. Because you also have to know and understand that Solomon, it's not only that he had wisdom, he had an understanding heart. An understanding heart. Compassion. That's not, that's something money can't, can't buy either. So, so for the Lord, the Lord to say she's more precious than rubies. I've seen it backfire and I'm not going to be like, ha ha, that's what you, no. I just know that God has my back. <laughs> that's kind of what it means. Like, oh shoot, dang, you were better off just rocking with me. Dang, you shouldn't have done me like that. So even, even small things, even small things. So she is more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. That's how precious I am. There's, not, there's nothing you could want more or desire more that could be compared to how much, how precious I am to the Lord. Amen. And what, what was the scripture? For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. And it says, length of days is in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Amen. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, right? What was I talking about? That soft heart. That understanding heart. And all her paths are peace. Right? Don't sweat it. It'll get better. It's not the end of the world. There's something better for you out there. You're going to have to study hard for that. Some, some, uh, some harder than others. <laughs> so, so to receive this was, um, and it, I got another revelation. I got another piece of wisdom. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. She is a tree of life, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Specifically, it makes sense, right? When my presence leaves a certain place, because I am life, I am alive in Christ, amen. I am the tree of life. It makes sense why people try to hold on to me, and it, well, people become so bitter. This, this is actually a very, very real thing. Like, you might, you might wish me death tomorrow, because you weren't able to retain me. But the truth is, is that if, if you love it, set it free. And if it comes back to you, then it'll be, amen. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. Wouldn't you prefer to retain a small piece of my grace to say, hey, I'll call you when I'm in town, as opposed to completely just cutting me off and be like, you know what, you don't want to hang out with me right now, right? Like, so childish. And this is, this is it, it, made, it made so much sense to me, like a lot of things in my life. I, I get a lot of people who become spiteful because I am what? The tree of life. I hold all wisdom and knowledge. Amen. And I've always known that. How, how, do, how have I always known that? Because every time I get into an argument, which an argument is foolish. Oh, you know everything. Oh, you act like you know everything. Oh, you know it all. The truth is, is that I would tell you 98% of the time I do know it all. And if I don't know something, I'll tell you that I don't know that. So... Because I, 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 I'm so humble and I gracefully walk in that manner and I know a lot, it makes it seem like, oh, you're never wrong. You never do anything wrong. No, I do stuff wrong. But it's, it's definitely minimized compared to, I would say, like my counterpart. Man, that guy had two left feet. <laughs> Lord help him. So there's, I, I can see why... why uh, I'm going to need someone, my counterpart, my kingdom spouse is someone who who really believes in the Holy Spirit and believes in Christ and, and believes in my gift. And it's, it's not really so much something believing, it's actually just seeing. Because <laughs> it's, it's you perform it, right? If you have the gift, then perform, right? If you have the gift of a voice, then sing, perform. This is, this is me performing the gift, amen. All right. 
uh, something that, that really, really stood out here was when Solomon prayed for wisdom, God promised him riches as well as long life if he obeyed God's commandments. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I wasn't going to get into the Ten Commandments now, but when I opened it, what stood out was... Specifically, line 20, 22 in Exodus. And it says, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out. And for some reason, instead of reading the Ten Commandments, it just, it's, I mean, Holy Spirit, come on, amen. It just brought me to it. It says, the Decalogue reflects the structure of the contemporary royal treaties on the basis of a preamble in which the great king identified himself. I am the Lord thy God and in hi and a historical prologue in which he sketched previous gracious acts toward the subject king or people then the Lord set forth the treaty the covenant stipulations to be obeyed L look at look at how royal right when you're in a covenant with God when you follow your Ten Commandments it says use this ancient royal treaty pattern shows that the Lord is here formally acknowledged as Israel's king and that Israel is his subject people as his subjects his covenant people are to render complete submission allegiance and obedience to him out of gratitude for his mercies reverence for his sovereignty and trust in his continuing care <sighs> don't think I don't fuck up don't think I don't get scared I know, and that's 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 the thing about being a preacher and walking humble too. I was gonna, I was gonna get to that later. The Lord can make you stupid, and that's the thing about all this wisdom. Sometimes even I look back at some of my videos and I'm like, wow, I said all of that <laughs> because that's the Holy Spirit working through me. There's a message in that for me itself. Amen. The, it's not, you gotta understand, it's not me speaking, it's the Holy Spirit. And the Lord can make me dumb in an instant. The Lord can make you stupid as can be. It's one thing to seek the Lord and be like, Lord, make me smart. Right? And that, that was the thing. When I pray to God, I never asked Him for money. Actually, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. Well, I'm not like super broke, but like, my bills are definitely like past due. And I don't ask God for money. Because he gave me a gift, and if I work it, it'll work. It, it, that's, that, it's, it's an amazing thing, because I show up. How is it that I, I don't have enough money, but today I got a professional office? Look at that. Wow. How, how amazing is that? That's the Lord. That's God, right? That's moving in faith. It's a, it's, if you need to... Don't ask the Lord for money. I don't ask God for money. I don't ask God for money. I can promise you that's something of this world. I don't. I, I do tell God, like God, this needs to get paid. God, what is what is going on here? God, I need blah blah blah. Right? Something always comes through. But to ask God for money, no. God, make me super. No. Mm -mm. God, give me peace of mind. God, make my heart pure. God. Make me find you, God. No, any, anything but money. God, heal this person. Because they're in pain. You ever have pain? I'll never forget when I had... <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I used to be very, very wealthy. Right? And there was a day where I had back pain. It felt like I slipped a disc. And I was... If, paralyzed that that type of pain is just paralyzing you think I cared about how much money I had you think and you know the thing about that type of pain when it's like back pain and it's a disc and it's nerve pain and it's that deep it's paralyzing everything stops you don't know when it's gonna come and you can't say oh I'm gonna take let for example oh we'll give you Vicodin or Percocet you'll be fine right but you can't tell when it's gonna happen you can't tell when that pain's gonna happen. So by the time that pain happens and that that medicine or that pill kicks in, there's it. I would just be. It would literally just be me being high. 
um, right? Because it doesn't, it, it only lasts so long and then I'm out. No, 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 I don't want to do anything with that. But I'm telling you, when you're in pain like that, you think you pray about money? No, you pray for healing. God, heal my pain. God, take take this pain away. And to know that the Lord healed me in so many different ways. Don't ask God for money. Don't ask God for money. Ask God for the wisdom to have riches. Ask God for a gift so that you could serve his kingdom. Amen. Um, something else that, that stood out about this. Your Ten Commandments is your royal treaty with God. Now for me, if I break these commandments, I will have hell to pay. I might, not only will I lose all my riches, but just like King Solomon, his son was supposed to bear the punishment. I don't want my children to bear my punishment for, for me breaking my covenant with God, right? A royal priesthood. This is a royal treaty with the Lord that we have made with one another. So that's why he said, print out your commandments. And then I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder I need to preach on Sundays. <sighs> Something else stood out. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Oh, that God is a jealous God. And here it is, it's 25. God will not put up with rivalry or unfaithfulness. Look at that. Usually his jealousy concerns Israel, which is, I've been saying he's been calling me Israel lately. Usually his jealousy concerns Israel and assumes the covenant relationship analogous to marriage and the Lord's exclusive right to possess Israel and to claim her love and allegiance. And it says, actually, jealousy is part of the vocabulary of love. The jealousy of God demands exclusive devotion to himself. You know, since we are made in the reflection of God's image, it makes sense. It makes sense why, like, dealing with... You're not... We don't compete. If, if, if there's a partner out there, if your counterpart is having you in competition with someone else, and that's not godly, that's not a covenant with God, and even then that person doesn't love God, right? Because it, it's that same thing. I'm not going to put up. I'm not going to compete. God will not put up with ri rivalry or unfaithfulness. How much so God will cast down your idol and kill them? And who are you going to pray to then? Who are you going to pray to then? And that's, that's, that's the importance. But for me, you got to understand that for me, the consequences are much more steep. I mean, they might be for you too, if you're a chosen one. If you're chosen and you have a covenant with the Lord, amen, and he promised you something and he's giving it to you and you're not fulfilling your part and you break the commandments, then that's Exodus 20. Exodus 20. He's, he's patient. Don't push it with him, though. All right. Now we are going to go on to three. So if if my blessing it my bl the blessing of wisdom that's my gift so i got david's anointing the wisdom of solomon and it says the call of wisdom it makes sense right sometimes there's certain people who will not accept the call and i got a thank you message from god which i mean obviously he doesn't have to say thank you but god said thank you for accepting the call thank you Thank you for, for being obedient. Thank you for, for you know, playing into my hands the timeline. This, just like Jeremiah the prophet, right? Jeremiah the prophet was obedient to God, and he was slain. He was, you know, he was disgraced by the people. And then later, they came to find out that he was righteous, that he was, he was the prophet of God. Amen. So you have to answer the call. The call of wisdom. And this is Proverbs 8. The call of wisdom. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way, in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city. 
at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the Son of Man. O ye simple, understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or preserve there is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and write to them that findeth knowledge, that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. That's what, that's what God hates. See, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. To do, you know, so to embrace love one another, right? The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Like, ugh. all right, to continue. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, ye durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, ye than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. Amen and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. Look at that. How far, can, how, back, how far back can I see? How far back is the wisdom? How far back is the knowledge? It's true, this is, it's supernatural, it's insane. And you gotta understand that it's the Holy Spirit. It's not me, it's the Holy Spirit, it's a gift. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains, abundant with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. Amen. When he set a compass upon the face of the dead, when he was established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the fountains of the earth, look at that, tree of life, I'm the tree of life, he appointed me for this, amen. Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways, hear my instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors, for whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, wrongest his soul all all they that hate me loveth death <sighs> wow. oh my gosh i gotta take off my glasses you understand receiving this from god was johnny you're, you're so blessed that people are waiting to hear what you have to say People are waiting for the wisdom that comes from you, your your rightful interpretation. I cannot lie to you. I will not lie to you. 
It's an abomination to the Lord. You're so precious, John. Just, just to, just to know it from God. Just, just, to, just to get all of that. Amen. And it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. Right? You did it to yourself. You sinned against me. But you gotta understand, I'm so precious to God that even have even whoever gives this one even a cup of cold water in my heart, a cup of cold water in my soul. You must love death. You must love to die. That's you don't know who you're coming up against. And that's that's the thing, right? If I have a covenant with God, vengeance belongs to the Lord. Vengeance belongs to God. He loves me that much. Amen. And I'm not going to continue. But. And it, it's insane because this was. Hold on. This one was already. This was already pre-bookmarked. find all right so I read two great I lost three all of a sudden we're gonna go into choosing wisdom all right and why specifically choosing wisdom right it's one thing for me to have the gift of wisdom and angel kept saying angel kept saying you know what to do. You know what you already know what to do. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find something real quick. You already know what to do. So it's a sin when you don't do what you know how to do, especially in, in the Lord. And that's called being a fool. So you have to choose wisdom. And if you don't choose wisdom, you're choosing to be foolish. And to entertain the foolish things is to entertain the devil, right? Because God does everything with excellence. Amen. And the fact that this was already pre-bookmarked for something completely different. And then once I, once I got it, I was like, oh, wow, Lord. You knew. You knew that that's what it was going to be. So here it is. Choosing wisdom. A good name is better than precious ointment. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of the morning than to go to the house of the feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it, will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of the morning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. So what, what is this trying to say? This is saying that it's almost like you don't know what you have till it's gone, right? No one is going to appreciate something until they've lost it. And that, that's when you know, like, right, the house of mourning. That's where you become wise. That's why when it comes the second time around, you know, like, oh, no, this is, this is she's good. <laughs> or he's good. Or, no, this is a blessing. You know. You know you had to go through that. And that's, that's the thing about how, why God takes us through these timelines. Because <sighs> the fools, the fools take everything for granted. You ever see someone who just takes food and just... They're so uh, wasteful. Not just with food, right? There's people who are wasteful with other things too. Right? I mean, look at all the Amazon packages that people get nowadays right just ridiculous spending it still doesn't even bring them pleasure but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth all right and we're going to continue it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools for as the crackling of the thorns under a pot so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. 
Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. That was the word. Thank you, Lord. All right, it's coming back. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Patience in the Lord for us is like, God, we're being slaughtered. What are you doing? And he's like, you have no, you have no faith. You have no patience. It really makes you test your faith. It really makes you test your faith. So, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, right? Glad we finished the course. Glad we finished the class. Glad we finished that, that, that season walk. Ooh. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Right? Wow. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. And this is exactly why you want to, as you grow older, you want to grow wiser. You want to have that life experience to know, to, to give you peace and extend your days, right? To give you that quietness that you're seeking, even in your spirit, right? Money can't buy peace. <laughs> You know, you heard the saying, more money, more problems. Yeah, that's a real thing. <laughs> that's definitely a real thing. I mean, it's not a bad thing if you know how to manage it correctly, right? But that takes also wisdom, right? That takes responsibility. So. Gosh, all right. I only got there's more to that, and that was Ecclesiastics. That was Ecclesiastics 7, but I only got the first page. But what I specifically wanted it was. It was in, uh, I'm pretty sure it was in Proverbs. Y'all just gonna have to bear with me. The command to obtain wisdom. Yeah, that's instruction from your father. Hear ye, children, the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake you not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. Keepeth my commandments and live, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. Shall she deliver to thee. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I just know I got my instructions from the Lord that... Pe oh, I did read it. People will be at your gates. People will be at your gates to seek your counsel, to seek your wisdom. That's why everyone, there's, there's a level of weight, right, Johnny? There's a level of weight when you speak.
there's nothing worse than than seeing a <laughs> you know my mom wasn't all bad right I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh but I will tell you that my mom would give me this like grudge stare like when people are like oh you have a daughter oh she's so beautiful and then next thing you know it's like you better not say anything stupid you better not say anything stupid so I would just I mean I would just stay quiet and then people would tell me I was always an old soul Johnny you're an, you, you're an old soul you're an old soul well yeah I've been here since the beginning of time I was I was there when the heavens were made through Christ amen this is wisdom be all beyond wis this is a, the wisdom anointed to King Solomon this is my gift knowing all things and it makes sense why my ratchet friends can't come right your hood friends can't come it's really like we're I mean obviously I know that right and I don't have time like people really think I'm playing when I say no nah, like I'm going into med school like I'm a doctor like what what are y'all doing and when you go back home and you come back to your family ties and they're still at ground zero because they're still in poor environments right even even mentally spiritually this is it sometimes you have to put yourself first to become wise you have to detach and, and a prophet has no honor in his hometown. That's why, as much as I love the 413, the 413 is popping. Fuck Boston. I'm sorry. Boston, me and you got issues. But the 413, oh, I had so much fun in the 413. Oh, my gosh. But there comes a time where there's certain people and they just want to talk about ratchet stuff. They want to bring you back down there. And I'm like, dude, you're killing my brain cells. Are you serious? And the Lord really had to force me to release all of them. Like these people, they couldn't retain me, right? If I'm the fountain, if I'm the tree of life, and I have this wisdom, oh, good, bad company corrupts good morals, right? At the same time, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So getting, getting that clarity from the Lord and to know that that's my blessing. I got the blessing of wisdom. I got the blessing of all knowledge, all mysteries and all understanding. Even then, as I'm a healer, right? I have prophetic healing. I have prophetic instruction. That's that's an amazing thing. And it makes sense. No, no one could ever be me. How did you have two kids, a toxic marriage, <laughs> and you ended up to be a med school scholar How'd you do it? And you're a veteran, and you're this, and you're that, and you have four companies, yeah. Top G, amen. <laughs> I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. Don't think that with wisdom, I mean, it brings peace, but don't think it doesn't bring, right? It's hard work too. That's something that I, I don't, I don't want to give you like, oh, it, it's just because she's favored. Oh, it's just because she has a gift. No, don't think that there aren't times where I just want to lay down and like my back is done. It's hard work. You know what to do. You know what to do. And that's... Did I read them all? I read you guys choosing wisdom. That's a choice. That, that's a choice. Right? If you want to hang out with your ratchet friends? <laughs> if, if we're going to say it in the 2023 sense, right? If you want to... If you want to entertain that, or if you're going to leave the foolish things behind, you're going to keep your commandments to Father God, right? You're not going to sit there and say, Lord, bless me. And then you're going to go and praise another idol. No, he ain't going to do that. He's a very jealous God. We just went into that. And this, it says the wise man and the fool. This is the last one. Glory to God. So that I can get onto the workflow and it's not long. So Ecclesiastics 9.13. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city, and few men within it. And there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. 
Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then I said, Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Okay, glad I didn't skip that. That's actually very, very important. <laughs> this is very important. And specifically, when I first read that, what stood out? Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. What did I... Angel said, Angel said, you know what to do. You already know what to do. You don't have to retake the class and being a perfectionist. You already know what to do. And it's it's nice that I'm I'm stepping into being a teacher. I actually saw my... I saw my training room today. It was dope. <sighs> but wisdom is better than strength, right? Sometimes it's like a muscle head. Especially like there's nothing worse than a guy who is fit but he's freaking stupid. Oh my gosh. It's just like you are gorgeous but you have no cells up there. Like what is wisdom? is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, right? Is despised. And his words are not heard. And that's the gaslighting that we were talking about. Oh, you know, you think you know everything. You think you know everything. Here's the thing, you can't argue with a fool. You can't argue with a fool. This is, what was this called again? The wise man and the fool. You can't argue with the fool. It's foolish enough. Oh, this is standing out. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him. Who can I tell him? Who can tell him? Right? They're going to question everything you say because they don't have wisdom. That's the thing about the wise. You say what you need to say and you go. And why was Lord Jesus a man of, I don't want to say he was a man of few words, but every time he spoke, I remember he told me, I will make you, I will make you king of the nations if you speak what is wise and not foolish. I will tell you what to speak. And that's when I wanted to post, I wanted to post something stupid like, I don't know, like a hair video or something or makeup. And now I know that if that's something I want to do, I have to make a separate page. And I, my beauty drops. I just, I do my beauty drops all the time. Like, come on now. I'm not going to sit here and front my glow up. Like, I'm thankful, God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for making me beautiful, making me smart. But at the same time, a fool. You can't argue with a fool. Don't say what is foolish. The Lord was a, I don't want to say he was a man of few words, but I always said this. Before, before I found God, I always said, say what you mean and mean what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And I never took anything back. I was never that type to, to speak out of, I didn't mean it. Oh, I didn't mean it. Right? To say something that you don't mean. No, I say what I mean and I mean what I say. So if you push me there, just know that I meant it. And that's why it stings that much more when Joanne says it. That's why, and I, I was around so many people who weren't to that caliber, who couldn't understand. Sometimes I watch, I, I play back some of these videos and I, at first God told me that I needed to, my vocabulary, I needed to, um, you're, you're using too many big words and that's because I have medical terminology as like, a good foundation right that latin and i'm hispanic so that latin background was really johnny you're gonna lose on you're gonna lose them and then sometimes i play it back and i'm like why didn't i just say this like that one word would have summarized it all so 
I'm ready to step into something different. And how did this happen? I turned 30. I was obedient to the Lord. Where I'm going to be a what? A preacher? I'm going to be a deacon. Where I'm a priest. For God. Amen. I shouldn't have taken it off. And there was, there's something that ha I don't. When you're gifted in the Lord. The same way Jesus Jesus started ministry at 30. That's why he said start Sunday. You have to start preaching the word. Like that is your gift to me. The Lord for the lo Lord giveth wisdom. He loves wisdom. He loves understanding, right? His thoughts are not our thoughts. Be not wise in thine own eyes. It's not me, it's the Lord, right? And that's why you have to follow his guidance, his footsteps and his warnings. All right, especially when you carry this type of light, this this type. Of, but I'm precious to the Lord, so put away the foolish things. And um, all right, that that's all the scripture I had for you. Literally all the scripture I have for you. What a, what a beautiful gift it is to have. And um, I understand who I'm meant to be in the kingdom of God. I I understand how I'm supposed to nurture His people and give them what they need to hold them over and preserve them. Amen. So, all right, we're going to close this out in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.